environmentalists love to get after the economists. Ah, you guys only worry about money. You don't worry about things of value in nature. But the economists have actually helped us. They've invented some pretty cool stuff. Uh, in the Clean Air Act days for uh, Bush 1, uh, what they said is all that acidity in the Ohio Valley was not good for our health, was not good for our environment. So instead of prescribing what technologies those coal-burning power plants would use, what they said is, here's a cap. You can't put out more than this as a whole region because that's what determines what happens downstream. Now you guys figure out how to do it cheapest. So if there was a company that was really clever and figured out a technology that was so efficient at scrubbing out those acids, they actually were under their quota. They could sell the part under their quota to a company that was clunky and that didn't have those smart engineers and figure it out. So the company that wasn't smart was paying extra money to the company that was smart. Now some environmentalists said, oh no, that's letting them buy their way out of polluting. Yes, but they're paying a price. Now they have an incentive to buy some new engineers who can help them out of it, or they'll keep paying the price. And the company that was better than their requirement, they're making money. So making money is the best incentive for new invention. So what we learned was that you could offset the pollution of a particularly bad power plant by having them buy permits from a particularly good one. Why can't that market mechanism work in climate?